In this lesson, you will learn about the be verb. What is the be verb? Well, be is a verb to start with. Remember, a verb is an action word like cook, laugh, drink, and dance. Be is a verb, but it is not an action word. I am sure you hear the be verb all of the time. In fact, these sentences are full of the be verb. Let's look. Is is a form of the be verb. Am is also the be verb. And are is also a form of be. Let's look at the verb chart for be in the simple present. Here is a chart with the pronouns. And here are the forms of the be verb. I am, is, it is, three forms of the be verb. Other verbs only have two forms, but be is always different. You can see that be forms look like be. There's no letter B in any of them. Also notice that the plural forms are all the same word. When do we use the be verb? Let's look at this sentence. Mark drinks water in English. We need a verb in English. We need a verb. But there is no action, so we use the be verb to connect the subject to the rest of the sentence. The water is cold. Is the verb to connect to the... Let's look at some examples. Kate is a scientist. Kate is in a laboratory. Kate is smart. subject. Is is the be verb that connects the subject to a scientist that tells me. Is is the form of the be verb that connects Kate to the rest of the sentence. Here it's a noun, a place. In the third sentence, again, Kate is the subject. Is is the be verb next Kate to the rest of the information. Kate is smart. Be information about the subject. Here is Mark again. Mark is a runner. Mark is the subject. More information about Mark. B is the verb that connects the information to the subject when there really isn't any action. Here, the more information is a noun, runner, but we can change the sentence. Mark is thirsty. Now, the information is an adjective. Mark is at a park. Now, that information is at a place. Mark is from California. Also, a place from a place. B connects the subject to information about the subject when there isn't really an action happening. If you say to me, my friend Diana, an engineer, I understand more or less what you're saying, but the grammar is incorrect. We need the be verb to connect the subject to the noun engineer. My friend Diana is an engineer. We need the be verb for the sentence to be correct. If you say, these strawberries very sweet, I understand, but the grammar is incorrect. There is no verb in the sentence and every sentence needs a verb. 
So we use the be verb. The strawberries are sweet. And here, are is the be verb that connects the strawberries to the adjective sweet. In some languages, you can say, Frank in the kitchen, and everybody understands. But in English, this doesn't work. We say, Frank is in the kitchen, because we need that be verb. Here's one more example. Be verb. What form of be should go here? M. I am from California. This is correct grammar. There are three forms of be in the present, but we have more than three pronouns in this chart. M always goes with I and only I, but look at R. R goes with you, we, and they. And is could be he is, she is, or it is. This is why we always need a subject. Languages are interesting. Okay, let's look at one more thing about the verb be. We can use a contraction. Look at these two sentences. She is a student and she's a student. They sound almost the same. We see the be verb is in the first sentence. In the second sentence, there is just an S. This is called a contraction. Two words in one. This mark here, this mark is an apostrophe. And we use it in contractions. Combine the pronoun and be to make a contraction. Let's do it. Look at I am. So in I am, we drop the A is, follow the same pattern. So drop the I, move the S, it's, follow the, maybe you want to pause the recording and try to fill in the blanks yourself. Okay, are you ready for the answers? From California, Lynn, college students. In this photo, they are happy because they are on a camping trip together. In this lesson, you learned a lot. There are three forms of be in the simple present. Am, is, are. And we make contractions with be. I'm, he's and there. Yes, no questions with the be. Remember the be verb. In this lesson, you are going to learn how to form yes, no questions with these forms of be. So, what is a yes-no question? Here are some yes Are you a student? Is he your teacher? Are they your classmates? The answers to these questions are yes or no. Are you a student? Yes, I am. Is he your teacher? Yes, he is. Are they your classmates? No, they aren't. Form a question with B. You already know how to make a statement with B. He is a musician. We start with the subject. Here it's he. And then we have a form of the be verb. Here we use is because is goes with he, third person. Is he? 
Is he a musician? Yes, he is. Let's do it again. Form a question with B. The statement here is, the trees are tall. The subject is are. The order of the subject and the verb. So, the trees are tall changes to are the trees tall? Are the trees tall? Yes, they are. Let's practice. Look at the answer. Jessica is at the airport. Jessica is the subject and is is the verb. So we reverse the order and we get, is Jessica at home? Here's another. What is the question? The answer is, the water is cold. And we want to reverse the order. Is the water warm? No, it isn't. The water is cold. Okay, what's the question here? The answer is, Andrew is confused. The question is, is Andrew confused? Yes, he is. Andrew is confused. Look at the answer. I am a teacher. What's the question? Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. If you wrote the question, am I a teacher? That can also be correct. It's possible, but usually... We don't ask a question about ourselves, like, am I a teacher? Usually it's, are you a teacher? Yes, I am. We use short answers for yes-no questions. These answers usually have three words. Yes, I am. Yes, he is. And some of these answers use contractions. No, they aren't. You can say, no, they are not, of course. But we often use contractions when we speak. We use short answers for yes, no questions. But of course, you can just answer yes or no. Sometimes this is fine, and sometimes it sounds too short. Let's look. Is your name Rebecca? No. Huh. How about this? Is your name Rebecca? No, it isn't. My name is Rachel. To answer yes, use the subject. Here is our B chart again. To form the short answer, just put yes and a comma in front of the subject and the B verb. Yes, I am. Yes, you are. Yes, he is. Yes, she is. Yes, it is. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. And yes, they are. These are the short answers when you want to answer yes. So, use the subject plus B and then add not. So here's the chart again. We add no to the front 
a comma, and then not at the end. No, I am not. No, you are not. No, he is not. No, she is not. No, it is not. No, you are not. The no answer. But remember, we can also use contractions. We use contractions in the negative form. We use the same contractions you know from the lesson about the be verb in the negative. Remember, there are three ways. The long way with the full verb and the word not. The second way, make a contraction with the pronoun and the be verb. And the third way, make a contraction with the be verb and not. Let's practice with some short answers. Is the rose yellow? No. No, it is not. No, it's not. No, it isn't. It is red. All three of these negative alligator dangerous? Yes, it is. There is only one answer here because it is a yes answer, and we can't do all of those questions with a yes answer. Are they in class? No. Are. Maybe you want to write yes there, but this is incorrect because we don't make a contraction with those yes answers. It doesn't work. Are apples healthy? Yes, they are. Okay, let's check to see what you understand. Don't end a yes answer with action. This is incorrect, isn't Okay? In this lesson you learned to form a question with B, we switched the word order. So, is he confused? He is confused. The question is the reverse order of the statement. Is he confused? Yes, he is. I hope you're not confused. Present progressive yes-no questions. Bill and his sister are video chatting. Bill asks, is it raining there? No, it's not. I'm sitting outside. Are you working in your garden? No, I'm not. I am drinking tea. Notice the question, is it raining? Are you working? Let's look at how to form yes-no questions in the present progressive. Switch the order to form a question. Know how to say they are asking for directions. To make a question, we are going to switch the be verb. Are they asking for directions? Yes, they are. Here's some more examples. Lots of fluids. Are you taking medicine? Look at all of these questions. They all have the be verb and a verb with ing, and the subject is in the middle. Let's look at some more examples. Is Kayla telling Emily a secret? Do you see? Be verb, then subject, then the ing verb. Is Kayla telling Emily a secret? Yes, she is. Is Peter asking a question? Yes, he is. Are you baking a cake? No, I'm not. I'm making cookies. 
Hey, are you listening to me? Yes. Sorry. No. I'm listening to you now. You try. Make a question. You have the answer. Yes, they are. So you know the subject is they. And you have the verb. Ride bikes. Are they riding bikes? Yes, they are. Okay? Try again. This time, draw a picture. Draw is the verb. And yes, she is is the answer, so you know she is the subject. Is she drawing a picture? Yes, she is. One more. Here the verb is drink, and the subject is it. I guess I don't know if this cat is a girl cat or a boy cat, so I'm going to say it. Is it drinking your tea? Yes, it is. In this lesson, you learned to form yes-no questions in the present progressive. She is talking on the phone is the sentence. And we switch the order of the be verb and the subject to get the question. Is she talking on the phone? Yes, she is. What is he doing? Mac is only four years old, but he is pretending to be old. Why is he pretending to be old? His school is celebrating old-timey days. It's a history festival. Look at the questions. What is he doing? Why is he pretending? These are information questions in the present progressive. Put the question word in front to make a present progressive information question. You already know how to form a yes-no question in the present progressive. Is she looking for something? Yes, she is. To form the information question, Start with the question word. What is she looking for? Do you see? The questions look almost the same. There's a be verb and there's a verb with ing. And the subject is between these two. The information question also has a question word at the beginning. What is she looking for? She's looking for some sharp scissors. Is he looking at something? Yes, he is. Well, now I want more information. What is he looking at? Do you see? The questions look almost the same. There's be verb, and then the subject, and then the verb with ing. What is he looking at? Some dolphins are swimming nearby. Are they going somewhere? Yes, they are. I need more information. Where are they going? They are taking a train to Rome. Is that squirrel eating? Yes, it is. What is that squirrel eating? It is eating the seeds from a pine cone. Hmm. Is he looking at his phone? No, he isn't. He isn't? Well, what is he doing? He's working in the engineering lab. Are they working? No, they aren't. What are they doing? They are having coffee and working on the crossword puzzle in the newspaper. Okay, you try. 
What's the correct word order to make an information question? Remember, start with the question word. What is Elaine talking about? What is Elaine talking about? She is explaining the new project to her colleagues. What is the correct word order here? Why is Alan using a microphone? Why is Alan using a microphone? He is recording a new episode of his podcast. What is the correct word order to make a question? And I'll give you a hint. The last word is with. Who are you texting with? Who are you texting with? My friend. She is asking if I want to meet her for coffee. In this lesson, you learned... Put the question word in front of a yes-no question to form an information question in the present program. What is he doing? Why is he... Start with a question word. Simple present and present progressive. In this lesson, we are going to look at the differences between these two. Lucas is from Colombia. He speaks Spanish, but he is speaking English now because he is helping his classmate. She speaks Russian, but she is speaking English with Lucas. Some of these verbs are in the simple present and some are in the present progressive. Let's look. The simple present verbs are is, speaks, and speaks again. And do you see the present progressive? Is speaks progressive needs the be verb and a verb with ing. Let's review when to use these forms. Simple present is for facts and habits. Sarah goes to the gym every Tuesday. Earth revolves around the sun. All of these are examples of the simple present. Passive is for now. You are learning about grammar. Now, right this minute, they are walking to school, she is waiting for a flight, he is living in Arizona this year. Remember, now can be a long time. We use this word this to show that it is now and we need the present progressive. I'm going to call this word a signal word. Let's look at the signal words. So first, this is a signal. This is a traffic signal, and it tells you when to stop and when to go. Signal words tell us when to use the simple present and when to use the present progressive. They signal what time we're talking about. So let's make a chart. And on one side, we'll put simple present and the other side, present progressive. On the simple present side, we use frequency words like always, sometimes, often, and never to show the simple present. We also use the word every and we put it with another time like every hour, every day, every week, every month, every year. And this tells us that something happens again and again, and that's our use for simple present. On the present progressive side, of course, we have the word now. 
but we can also use the word today to mean now. And we use that word this, this afternoon, this week, this month. This shows us that it is happening now. I'm going to tell you about Anita. Anita is 14 years old. She plays tennis and golf very well. She is playing chess right now. She is a student. Her favorite color is red, and she often wears a red sweater. But right now, she's wearing a black shirt. Okay, let's think about this information about Anita. I told you she plays tennis and golf. This is the simple present. I also told you she is playing chess. This is the present progressive. This is happening right now. I said she often wears a red sweater. But I told you she is wearing a black shirt now. Look at the signal words. Over here, often, shows us that it's simple present. And now, shows us it is present progressive. Okay, you try. Ava is a student from Spain, and these sentences tell us more about Ava. But the verbs in the blanks are in their simple form. That means we need to change them to fit in the sentences. We need to decide simple present or present progressive. How do we know? Well, sometimes we can look at the picture and sometimes the other words in the sentences help us. Here, there are signal words. Let's look. This, every, today, and now. These signal words tell us how we should change the verbs. Are you ready for the answers? Ava is a student from Spain. She is living in the U.S. this year. This year tells me it should be present progressive because it's happening now. She studies every afternoon in the library. Every tells me it happens this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, the next afternoon. That means it needs to be in the simple present. Ava is shopping today. Today tells me present progressive now. And she is looking for a blue jacket now. Well, now is happening now. One more time. Look at the picture. This is Isaac. These sentences tell us about him. What forms of the verbs go in the blanks? Simple present or present present. Remember, look for signal words, and you can look at the picture, too. Okay? Are you ready for answers? This is Isaac. He works in a law office. There's no signal word here, but I can see the picture. He's not in an office right now. He's outside. He is cooking on the grill outside today. I see this in the picture, but also I see this signal word today that tells me present progressive. He is talking to his friend Dan now. Now is a signal word for present progressive. And he likes to cook for his friends. Well, likes is one of those words can't put in the present progressive. It has to be in the simple present. In this lesson, we reviewed the different uses for the simple present and the present progressive. And you learned about signal words to help you see these differences.
be going to future. Maya and her mother are walking. They are going to the store. They are going to buy some ice cream. Okay, let's look at the verbs. In the first sentence, we have are walking. This is happening now. In the second sentence, they are going. They are going to the store. This is also happening right now. In the third sentence, they are going to buy some ice cream. The verb is are going to buy, but you see this is a little different, and this is the future. Let's take a closer look. They are going to the store. They are going to buy some ice cream. Both of these sentences have are going to, but let's look. In this first sentence, they are going to the store. They are going to a place. And in the second sentence, they are going to buy. They aren't going to a place. They are going to, and then it's a verb. So the first sentence is present progressive. This is the be verb plus the ing. And this tells us this is happening right now. The second sentence is the future. We use be going to verb to form the future. Let's look closely. We form the future with be going to. They are going to buy some ice cream. R is be, then we have going to, and buy is the verb. And buy doesn't change, it stays in its simple form. They are going to buy some ice cream. Let's look at some more examples. Here we have a plane. The plane is taking off. This is happening now. This is the present progressive. The plane is going to Alaska. This is also happening right now. And this is also the present progressive. The plane is going to arrive in Alaska at 4 o'clock. Now this is different because we have is going to verb. Look at the difference. Here, Alaska is a place. It's going to a place. But here, arrive is a verb. So be going to and verb shows us the future. Here's Chloe. Chloe is crossing the street. That's happening right now. Chloe is going to the park. That is also happening right now. Chloe is going to walk her dog in the park. That is not happening right now. Chloe is going to the park right now. When she gets to the park, she will walk her dog. Chloe is going to walk her dog. Again, park is a place and Walk is a verb. So Chloe is going to walk her dog is the future. Here's one more example. Here are some bike riders. They are riding bikes right now. They are going to the top of the mountain. That's also happening right now. The top of the mountain is a place. They are going to take a rest at the top. Ah, now we have a verb. So this is the future. They are going to take a rest at the top. Let's practice. You see two sentences. She is going to paint her kitchen. She isn't painting her bedroom. Both are correct. But which one is future and which one is present progressive? She is going to paint her kitchen. This is happening in the future. She is going to paint her kitchen. She isn't painting her bedroom. This is happening right now. Is it future or present progressive? They are playing together. They are going to eat lunch. 
they are playing together is lunch is going to happen in the future. She is going to do research. She is giving a lecture. She is going to do research in the future. She is giving a lecture right now. She's giving the lecture right now. Last one. Is it future or present progressive? They are going to a museum. They are going to see some famous paintings. They are going to a museum. Is happening right now. They are walking to a place. They are going to a place. They are going to see some famous paintings. That is the future. Okay, now you try forming it. Mrs. J is making cookies. That's happening right now. And now you have to fill in the blank. What goes in the blank to make the future? They are going to be delicious. Mr. Brown is going to the concert hall. He... What goes in the blank to make this the future? He is going to hear a Mozart symphony. Okay, how about this here? You know you can make a contraction with he and is. What goes there? He's. He's going to hear a Mozart symphony. John is playing a game, but he is losing. Okay. What goes in the blank? It has to be negative because he's losing and the verb is win. He is not going to win. Okay, now can you make a contraction here? Is and not? He isn't going to win. He isn't going to win. It is cloudy right now. I think it, and now we need the future for rain. I think it is going to rain later today. I think it's going to rain later today. Ooh, did you hear that? It's going to rain. Gonna is going to, but only when we talk. We never write it like this. Um, it's incorrect. <laughs> But you, when you hear people talk about the future, often they reduce or make going to shorter, and it sounds like gonna when we talk. It's gonna rain. In this lesson you learned, we form the future with be going to. They are going to buy some ice cream. It is going to rain later today. future. In this lesson, you'll learn how sometimes we use the present progressive to talk about the future. The design team is planning a presentation. They are giving the presentation tomorrow. They are finishing it now. They are taking a bus to a conference tomorrow morning. Okay, all of these sentences are in the present progressive. Be verb and ing. But some of them are happening right now and some of them are plans for tomorrow. First, let's look for the verbs. Is planning, are giving, are finishing, are taking. Okay, now look at these sentences. The design team is planning a presentation that is happening right now. They are finishing it now. That is also happening right now. You know because it says now. They are giving the presentation tomorrow. That's happening in the future. And they are taking a bus to a conference tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning is also the future.
Let's take a closer look. Both of these sentences are in the present progressive, are planning and are giving. But the first sentence, they are planning a presentation, that is happening now. I know this because, well, first I have a picture and I can see they are planning a presentation now. Secondly, there's no other information in the sentence to tell me that it's not happening now. But look at the second sentence. They are giving the presentation tomorrow. Here I have the word tomorrow, and this tells me it's the future. They are giving the presentation tomorrow. Here's another example. It is Friday morning, and Ms. Mason is thinking about her busy day. She is meeting with a client at 10. She's eating with a colleague at 1. She is going to a meeting at 2.30, and she's finishing a report at 4. That is a busy day. Okay, let's look. These are all in the present progressive. I see every verb here is a be verb, is, and then another verb with ing. But in the first sentence, it is Friday morning and Ms. Mason is thinking about her busy day. That is happening now. I know that because I can see that there's a picture of a person thinking. And also it says it is Friday morning. That sounds like right now. All of these other sentences happen in the future, and I know that because they have a specific time later today. That's how we use the present progressive for the future, when we put some other time that tells us it is going to happen in the future. We often use the present progressive to talk about plans in the future. Let's look at some examples in conversations. Here we have two friends. They are talking. One asks, what are you doing this weekend? Do you have plans? And the other says, yes, I'm going to a concert on Saturday and my family is having dinner together on Sunday. These sentences he uses to answer are in the present progressive. I'm going to a concert. My family is having dinner. But he uses Saturday and Sunday to show that these are his plans for the weekend. Here two friends are talking and one friend asks, What are you doing later? And she answers, I'm having dinner with Marco tonight. And here they use the words later and tonight with the present progressive to talk about their plans in the future. Here he calls Lisa and asks, Hi Lisa, do you want to go to the movies tonight? And Lisa answers, that sounds fun, but I am working tonight. And here, one sister calls the other. Hi, sis. Do you want to go for a walk this morning? And her sister answers, Yes, I'm taking the boys to preschool at 9. How about 930 and she uses 9 o'clock, a specific time, to show that's her plan, even though she uses the present progressive. Today is Friday. Kevin is flying to a conference. He is going to give a presentation. He is coming back on Sunday. In this lesson, you learned you not only use present progressive for happening right now, but you also use it for happening in the future. Let's look. Today is Friday. That is right now. Kevin is flying to a conference. That is also happening right now. He is going to give a presentation. Going to give, going to verb. That's the future. He is coming back 
on Sunday. That is the present progressive used as the future because we have that plan in the future on Sunday. This word is about can and how we can use it. Jim and Linda can do many different things. Jim can cook. Linda can't cook. Jim can speak French. Linda can't. Linda is a very good dancer. Jim can't dance very well. Let's look at these two words, can and can't. Can and can't tell us what Jim and Linda are able to do. Can tells about ability. You probably know a cheetah can run very fast. A hawk can't run very fast, but it can fly very fast. Can tells us what these animals are able to do. I can speak two languages. 